Yeah, so Heidi Pro Jared's ex-wife just leaked a bunch of text messages between her and her therapist about Pro Jared. And there's a lot that we need to discuss. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Couple things real quick. This might be a busy day. This might be some old school Chris busting out three videos today. There's a lot going on, a lot I wanna discuss, share my opinions on, comment on. Um, but yeah, the other thing is too, if you're watching my videos today, August 31st, today is the last day to get yourself a free copy of the ebook, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture. I talk about cancel culture a lot. I've shared my experience in this book, but I also talk about a bunch of other situations like with people like Pro Jared, people like Shane Dawson, Trisha Paytas is in there, Jeffree Star. I talk about Slazo, all sorts of stuff. So today's the last day to get yourself a free copy of it. All right, so anyways, I just want to start this video by making a few disclaimers real quick. The first thing is like, this is a channel that is totally designed to discuss what's happening in the public spotlight to see what we can learn from them. And that's it. Please do not, do not send any hatred to anyone that's involved. Like anybody who is trying to send hate towards Heidi since Jared's video came out, like you're not, you're not a good person. Like don't do that. Like technically, not even technically, like, like, like seriously, like none of this is any of our business, all right? The only reason I cover it is because we need to look at what we can learn from this stuff, all right? But the next thing is, I'm going to be uh, talking about some mental health subjects, all right? Those of you who don't know me, know I am not a licensed therapist, I am not a licensed psychologist, but I'm going to be pulling from my experience working at an accredited addiction treatment center where we specialize in dual diagnosis, so we treated addiction as well as mental health issues. I'm a certified life coach and I'm almost done with my CADC, which is a certified alcohol and drug counselor licensing where we also treat people who have mental health disorders, all right? But no, I am currently not a licensed therapist, so take what I say as an opinion. This is just an opinion on some of the things I'm going to discuss. So yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna go through all of these screenshots. I will put a link down in the description below, but I was really confused by this. Somebody DM'd this to me um, and I saw that Heidi tweeted it out. Heidi tweeted out a series of text messages with someone named Sarah. And I'm like, who the heck is Sarah, all right? It seems as though Sarah was Heidi's therapist, okay? And Heidi says that she's going to be doing a live stream to kind of share her story and experience and, and everything like that. But like I said, all the screenshots will be linked down in the description below, all right? So long story short, Heidi was upset because in Jared's return video, I guess he flashed up a screenshot that I wasn't even paying attention to of Jared's text with Heidi's therapist. And Heidi was really upset about that. She reached out to the therapist through text and was quite upset about it and said, you know, Jared's using this to manipulate and lie and all these other things, all right? So the first aspect of this situation that I wanna talk about is the therapist, okay? There's a few things. Like this therapist was in a tricky situation, all right? I believe this therapist lives in California and correct me if I'm wrong, but Jared and Heidi were living in Washington. Like there are 18 things wrong with that. Like I personally use BetterHelp Online Therapy and you're only allowed to work with a therapist who is licensed in your state. So licenses vary from state to state. Like when it turns into this online thing, I don't know if there's some more leeway, but like I said, I know with better help, you can only work with a licensed therapist from your state. So my therapist is not only in Nevada, she's also in Las Vegas, all right? So that's the first kind of oopsie, all right? But Heidi talks about in these texts, like the only reason she worked with this therapist was because it was the only option she had. And I'm like, Ugh. 
I don't know about that. Like, I really don't think so. So, in my opinion, I think there's kind of some fault on both sides. Like, but anyways, like, let's talk about this therapist. Like, and if I laugh, just know I am not laughing at Heidi or Jared, but this therapist got themselves into a really dumb situation that could have been avoided. Like, couples therapy and getting involved in this stuff is difficult enough, all right? Typically, uh, 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 someone who's doing couples therapy is treating the couple. And if they treat those people individually, all of it is completely separate and confidential. Like, you don't play the gossipy friend in between and say, oh, your wife said this, oh, your husband said that. It is like, what I talk about in private with your significant other, it's none of your damn business, right? So like, this was just a recipe for disaster with her working with them from a different state. But like, cause here's the thing, like have any of you been in a relationship? Relationships are messy. They could be a hot mess. And especially like a divorce, like what we're seeing with, uh, you know, Heidi and Jared, like the last thing this therapist should have done was try to kind of like get in between that in a way that might might be deemed a little unethical. Like for example, when I was working at the treatment center, part of my job responsibilities was to keep in touch with clients after they left, right? And you know, not only would I call them, but we would talk in text. Um, I was on social media like Facebook and Snapchat and Instagram and all these other things, and we'd communicate. The second that a conversation got even somewhat serious, boom, we get on the phone. All right, like in this day and age, like texting, it's, especially if you're a mental health professional, in my opinion, that is a very, very bad idea unless it's in a, a, a secure, confidential situation and not just all willy nilly through text. So I do think that this therapist kind of screwed up, but reading the therapist text, just like in my opinion, I think the therapist did a good job keeping cool and trying to calm Heidi down, all right? Now, again, I'm going to be talking about Heidi. I'm going to mental, mention some mental health subjects. And again, these are just purely my opinions. And some of these might be unpopular opinions, all right? So here's, here's my first thing. Like, there's still just like this like team Heidi and then team Jared and everything like that, listen to me. My, in my opinion, like the second that you're trying to save a relationship by trying out polyamory or doing an open relationship, like it's time to just end it, all right? Now, I'm not saying like polyamory or open relationships can't work. That's not what I'm saying. But in instances where you've been married for years, and you're having troubles and then you're like, oh, maybe this will save my marriage, right? That's what I think is kind of a bad idea, but I don't want any of you to think that I just, you know, disagree with polyamory or open relationships as a whole, especially because I just made that video about Ethan Klein possibly being a prude. <laughs> like if you want to have multiple partners, do your thing. Like in my opinion, like you're either, you know, monogamous or you're not, just be upfront with your partner about it from the get go, right? But in my opinion, if you're in a long term relationship, and then you suddenly decide to try this out to save your marriage might not be a good idea. And I think that's where most of these problems stem from. Like I was just on Twitter and, and like a lot of people say, oh, but he still cheated. He still cheated. Like, listen, I did an entire like hour long podcast. It's also up on this YouTube channel. I'll link it up in the info card down in the description below. But anyways, like if you look at it, if you look at what happened, Heidi was okay with Jared pursuing other women, specifically Holly, and then she changed her mind. And this is again, why I don't think polyamory in this situation would work. So I do not personally consider what Jared did was cheating, all right? Especially because it came out that Heidi was seeing another man. So again, like try to like soak this in and See how it affects your life. Like, are you trying to save a relationship with some unconventional things? And you know, is it is it just time to let go? So here's, here's kind of where we talk about mental health, 
okay? And no, I'm not diagnosing Heidi. She's been very open about therapy and her mental health and everything like that. And I'm glad she's getting help. But just from my outside perspective, and it kind of blows my mind that other people don't see this, but Jared kind of does something that I would consider like, eh? Right? And then Heidi goes, boom, all right? And I speak as somebody who used to have a lot of problems with emotional regulation. My responses, my reactions to different situations were completely disproportional, all right? Like, we've seen this multiple times. For example, it started out when Jerry just made a public statement, very vague and just like, hey, we're getting a divorce, please just stay out of our business, right? And Heidi exploded, right? Then Holly came back, just sharing her side. Heidi exploded. And listen, I think Heidi has every single right to share her side. But if Heidi was my friend, I would try to bring them back down to earth and explain like, listen, like I understand that you wanna to prove to the world how, how bad this dude did you, I know you wanna do that, but you also gotta realize that your mind's kinda clouded. Like, how many of you watching this have been through a breakup? Like, don't we all just want to prove that we were hurt, we were wronged, right? But sometimes we go way too far, and that's what I feel like what's happening. I feel like Heidi's reactions are disproportionate. So, for example, what we're talking about right now and Heidi leaking her own text discussing Pro Jared with her therapist, this all stemmed from like a flash of a screenshot that Jared showed in his video, just a, a flash, right? And this started something entirely new. You know what I mean? And I get it, and she does have the right to defend herself, but like on both ends, you know, because it seems like Jared's trying to like move away from this, but it keeps coming back up. And that's where it gets difficult, you know? And we'll we'll discuss it and see, you know, what we can learn from it as things go on, because Heidi's gonna do a stream. But, like, it's very clear that Heidi's dealing with some in very intense emotions. And the last thing I wanna say, so my girlfriend, <laughs> my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I, uh, we've been catching up on Catfish. And if you watch that show Catfish, oh my God, it's ridiculous. Uh, anyways, so last night we were watching an episode from a few seasons ago or early on in the you know show. But anyways, the, the, the Catfish or whatever, this girl claimed, like right before they met, she claimed that she got kidnapped and then a week later she called from a mental hospital. And then you see Neve and Max just like, oh my God, like she, she said she got kidnapped. Oh, she's such a liar. Oh, and what's going on with the mental hospital? Like, you guys, like, these two things aren't separate. Claiming you got kidnapped and being in a mental hospital within a week, like those things go together, right? So what I'm saying is for the public who's watching this and trying to take sides, like understand, like there is a mental health aspect to this whole thing that we're all watching. We're watching it play out. We're watching explosions of emotions. And like, I think an excellent point is, I'll show this very last text between Heidi and her therapist, but Heidi's therapist reminds Heidi that Jared said, do not go attack Heidi. Like everything I've seen from Jared, he has tried his best to talk about it as little as possible, right? Like his 42 minute video was mainly about the false allegations and then he lightly touched on the Heidi situation. Like he's trying to minimize that as much as possible. And correct me if I'm wrong, right? But you don't see Jared going on Twitter, going on these sprees, you know, just talking trash about Heidi. Like you don't see that. Like in my, in my, like pers from my perspective, seeing these two, like they're both handling it very, very differently. Like while I'm sure there are jerks on the internet harassing Heidi, from her point of view, she feels like Jared is just constantly talking about this publicly. 
and he was silent for months. And Jared's in this weird situation where he's trying to minimize the story about Heidi, so people kind of back off of her, but then he's also getting crap for not addressing it that much. But again, not really any of our business. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, I'm not sure when Heidi's gonna be live streaming, but I'm gonna keep you guys posted and up to date on this story. Like, I just think there's so much that we can learn from all this. Like, relationships are messy, breakups are messy, divorce is messy, and it sucks for literally everybody involved. You know what I mean? But anyways, like I said, I'm probably gonna be making one more video. Something really serious uh, happened with cancel culture, so we're gonna be talking about it. All right, and speaking of cancel culture, don't forget, last day to get a copy of the ebook, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, for free. Check out the description, check out the pinned comment down below. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody else who supports the channel in other ways, like buying merch, buying my books, and all that stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.